everybody it's time for what I am burning now in the month of February this is February 2018 and it's actually February 11th 11th so that means exactly one week from today I am going to be leaving on my trip for Egypt so I'm starting to get a little bit of excited about it um, as you know um, I've been really nervous about the whole thing um, just overwhelmed with the thought of it, but you know, I'm slowly making progress getting ready um, My situation with Gypsy and Mambo is slightly improving We still got a long way to go though. I mean, I've had her for three months now And I think there's been three knockout and drag out fights where I was really worried for her safety and if she was going to survive um, And the last one was about a week ago but um, as long as she seems to stay in this one little room, Mambo seems to tolerate it. It's just when she decides she wants to go elsewhere, he doesn't like it and she doesn't want to go. So I'm trying not to force this issue. It's like, okay, whatever will keep the peace. And they made a lot of progress today because he was in her room and he used her potty and he was sniffing her and there was no fights. Just a little bit of growling, hissing. So fingers crossed, just... I keep hoping and praying that um, the situation improves. I do have feel away everywhere in the house and calming collars and all the cats, so hopefully that helps. So anyway, what I am burning now, you know, I did take down my winter decor last weekend. We have had so much snow in Michigan. In fact, between last Sunday and this Sunday, we've had 20 inches of snow, which for us is a lot. We just normally in Metro Detroit don't get a lot of snow. Usually maybe one big snowstorm a year, then a bunch of nuisance snows, which is what happened this week, but they all came in one week. So I pretty much stayed home all last weekend. I ended up not going to work on Friday. And so I had a three day weekend and you would have thought I'd get a lot done, but no. But I did manage to take down my holiday decor last weekend, um, you know, all my winter stuff. And I put spring up, but I've kept it really, really simple. You know, I'm not going to be here for St. Patrick's Day. I usually, you know, change up my decor in March for that. I usually do something for Easter. This year I'm doing nothing like that. And I'm kind of wishing I'd waited maybe a couple weeks because, you know, with the snow coming back, my winter decor would have been perfect. Um, you know, if you remember what I was burning in January, I basically had, um, you know, snowflakes and red cardinals going on, which would have been perfect for Valentine's Day. And I was actually planning on leaving everything up until after Valentine's Day. But, you know, I just had to take advantage of having the time when I had it. So... Yeah, because uh, time is running out to get ready for this trip. I just can't believe how much time it takes to get ready for going on a big overseas trip like this. Um, you know, just getting the passport ready, arranging the cruise, getting my immunizations, you know, the luggage, the whole thing. It's a lot of work. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, because for me, it's my first big trip. I'm sure there's a lot of you out there who are world travelers and it's like nothing. But to me, it's a big deal. So anyway, what I am burning now, I've been basically home Friday, Saturday, and now it's Sunday. I've been burning a lot. Um, in fact, I had to change out a couple candles because I finished some, and then some just weren't working. So we'll talk about it as we go along. So in my bathroom, I have tea lights in A Calm and Quiet Place by Yankee Candle. This is a new spring scent. I talked about it in my last video. It's a nice scent, but I personally just find it very light. Okay, and over here I have Yankee Candle Sheer Gardenia. And I actually was going to burn two of these in my bedroom. That was my original plan because I was you know, kind of tired of all the winter stuff and longing for spring. And I love gardenia scents. But because um, yeah, I was so busy putting all my winter stuff away, I was like trying to find spring scents that were within easy reach where I didn't have to dig through, you know, a lot of stuff. And so I came across Sheer Gardenia and I was like, this is perfect. This is exactly what I'm wanting. So I was going to burn two of them, but believe it or not, they're too strong. 
This is a strong candle and it's been burning phenomenal. I've had no issues with the burn whatsoever. So I end up having to separate them so I have one in each bathroom. And um, it's not my favorite gardenia scent. I had a Henri Bendel gardenia going earlier in one of the large three wick candles which they retired a couple weeks ago. I mean a couple weeks ago, a couple years ago. Um, and I love the Henri Bendel gardenia scent. And the Kringle gardenia scent, which is no longer around, was very, very similar. Those two scents, I think, were more of a true gardenia. This definitely has more of a green, no, almost a little bit of a bitterness to it um, that I'm not quite fond of, which is why I couldn't do two in one room because it was just too strong. And it's not my favorite gardenia scent, although I absolutely love the label. And the performance has been really good. You know, like I said, it's throwing good. The burn is good. So considering a lot of Yankees lately have not been that great, um, I can't complain about it whatsoever. Okay, on my dresser, I just have some votives going in sun-drenched rose. Oh, I should have dusted that before the video. Sorry. Um, same thing going on here. And I can actually smell it. Because I actually have four votives and sun-drenched rose going on. No, I'm sorry. I take it back. I don't have sun-drenched rose. I have... Why am I smelling sun-drenched rose? Oh, I forgot. I have a milk cup going. I have a milk cup going in sun-drenched rose. So over here, I have votives in lavender vanilla. That's what I got going on. Lavender vanilla from Yankee Candle. I got confused because originally I had fresh cut roses in this hurricane, but I switched it out and I moved it around. Um, so in here I have Henri Bendel Cashmere, and then I have votives of Lavender Vanilla. And this collection came out, what, was it last year or the spring before? I forget. Man, I'm losing all track of time. That must be a sign of getting old, right? I just can't remember what came out when. but. I think it's a beautiful collection and I'm glad I'm still able to enjoy it and use it because so far I haven't broken it too bad. There's a crack. Um, maybe it's not in this one. I have two of them and I put one away, but uh, yeah, I really think it's so pretty. So pretty. Um, and then over here, tea lights in lavender vanilla, which those don't look like they're doing too good. And then I have a Pure Radiance candle in Casablanca Lily. I really like this scent. It's just a warm floral. I do have two of them going. I have one going on the other side. And I basically really need two of them to really smell it good. And it's still more of a background scent. It's not super strong. Um, and this is a Pure Radiance holder from probably like three years ago, four years ago. I got it during a semi-annual sale. And I put it away for a couple seasons, but I brought it back out. And, uh, yeah. So this is my other one. This one is doing a little bit better. It's got a deeper wax pool. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, you can see it through the hurricane. It's got a pretty good wax pool going. One of them crackles more than the other. I can't remember which one is which. It's probably this one because it's been pulling out better. And usually it's louder than this, but, of course, for the video it won't. And that's a tea light in lavender vanilla. So that's basically what I got going on in the bedroom. Okay, and over here is basically my only nod to Easter this year, and this is Yankee Candle Peeps. This is one, the one that came out last year, I believe. They changed the color from yellow to pink, and this is my first day burning it. I had, um, I can't remember what I had here. I had a different candle here. Oh, I had Swan Creek lemon pound cake, no, not lemon pound cake, oh my god. I had Swan Creek Luscious Lemon Vanilla burning in here, but I ended up putting it away because I, I want to save my, um, my lemon candles for when I come back from my trip in April, because I want to do lemon and tea in April. Hopefully I remember I want to do that. So I put it away and I dug out my peeps because um, in, in my Facebook group, we do what we call candle roulette every month, and basically we pick um, a category of candles to burn for the month just to help us get through our stash. 
And so this month the winning candle was pink. So I got a lot of the pink candles going in the month of February, which is really appropriate, you know, for Valentine's Day as well. So I'm really liking this lantern that my friend gave me. I believe it was from Pier One. So I decided to keep it here. I'll probably just keep it here forever um, with a Luminara candle going on in it. And then I have Votives in Yankee Candle, A Calm and Quiet Place. And then over here I have a another Sheer Gardenia. This is one of the two that was originally going to go in my bedroom and it was just way too strong. So I put one in each bathroom and they're in the pink fractal from Yankee Candle. And you know, like I said, this candle's been doing really well. I have absolutely no complaints. Throwing strong, pooling out good. As you can see, you know, it's a pretty clean burn. There's no residue. You know, it's not pulled out right now, but it will. Okay, this is one of my snowflake cookies from Yankee Candle. Um, one of them I did put in the crock today. <sighs> I've been having problems with both of these. Um, like one's in the crock. This one I'm trying to burn, but I don't think I'll keep burning it for long. Both of them had a very large, thick wick. So no matter how long I burnt it, and you know, I've been basically burning them like all day because I've been home this weekend. They the the wicks were really short and thick and they would drown themselves out. I mean they would just stop working and it wasn't because I had they were tunneling. Um it may look like it's tunneling right now, but it's not. Let's get a better better view. Well, no, right now, see? Well, I guess it is tunneling a little bit now. But it wasn't tunneling. It was it was not quite pulling out all the way though, but it would like melt all the way to the edge of the jar, but it wouldn't really pull down. And then it would just like extinguish itself. And so I was think I'd be thinking that the candle was burning and I go and check and nope, it was out. And I had this problem a few years ago with uh, a couple of my greenhouses where they had just this weird wick. So this one is probably destined for the crock. And I'm sad to report that one of my crocks broke last week. Um, one of the switch, the switch just broke. So I had to throw it out. So now I just have one crock. So I can only do one at a time. Otherwise this one would be in the crock. Hey Gypsy. This is Gypsy's little corner. She's got like three litter boxes and she wasn't litter trained. So I had to teach her how to use a litter box and for some reason she likes the one with the liner versus the ones without but she still likes to guard all three. Say hi Gypsy. There you are. I know. You're tired. Okay and over here is where I have my fresh cut roses and they're doing pretty well. I've had no problems with the burn. Um, this is a flower vase that I got from Barely Park Hill last year on QVC, but this year she came out with these pedestals. You can get them in ivory, walnut, and black. So these are the ivory, and you can, um, they have two options, either the five spotlight option or the one spotlight option. So this is on the five. You'll see the one later. I do wish the pedestals were a little bit wider, though. Um, they do have, like, a little bit of a lip. So this doesn't set inside of the lip, it's on top, so it slides around a little bit, which I don't like, but I do like the way it looks, so hopefully, you know, my cats don't really jump up on the, my candle cabinet, so I, I should be safe. Um, so over here is Fresh Cut Roses 1, and we got Fresh Cut Roses 2, this one's almost pulled out. So they've been doing well, um, the throw is not super strong. When I had them, I had one going on in my bedroom. I could definitely smell it. This is a much larger room. It has throw issues. So I can't smell it quite as strong um, in, in this particular spot. If I'm standing in my kitchen, which is you know to the right of me, so if I go that way, I can smell it as I'm working in the kitchen. But if I'm in my dining room, I really can't smell it. Um, and then I have tea lights in sun-drenched rose. I knew I had tea lights or votives or something in sun-drenched rose going on. I do have tea lights and votives going on in this room in sun-drenched rose, as you shall see. Okay, so over here on my dining room table, I have a Kringle candle in 
cherry blossom. And as you can see, I went with a lot of like more clear hurricanes, um, just because sometimes you just want to see your candles. And since I was burning, um, you know, candles that hit pretty labels, I, I tended to choose a lot of more clear hurricanes so I could see them. And because I'm not going to be doing a lot of decor changing this year until you know we get into probably May, June, um, I decided to keep everything really simple. So this is Cherry Blossom Kringo. It's actually my first burn with this scent, so I am i can't really comment on the scent itself. I'm not a Cherry Blossom scent person, I've discovered. I know a lot of people love Cherry Blossoms. It's probably my least floral, but it looks like it's burning fairly well. And I have my Lazy Susan, which um, the votives are in Sun Drenched Rose, and I just think it's very pretty, but very simple. And uh, I probably shouldn't do that because I might end up putting out the flame. So that's what I have going on here. Oh, I just wanted to point out for some reason, this seems to be balanced pretty well. So it rarely, unless I spin it, it rarely moves on its own. Unlike my next Lazy Susan, which I'm going to show you in a minute, I just can't seem to get it balanced properly where it doesn't keep spinning. Okay, so this one over here should be looking like this. So I have, it won't stay in place though. I'm keeping, I have to keep working on it. So right now I have a colonial candle in Simply Vanilla. And I just love this vanilla scent from Colonial Candle. Two of my favorite vanilla scents are actually the Simply Vanilla from Colonial and the French Vanilla from Yankee Candle. They're not really bakery. They're more just a nice basic vanilla. So they're, it's good on its own, but they also are really good blender scents. Um, and I like to burn these two, Simply Vanilla and French Vanilla, if I have florals going, because they aren't really bakery, but they tend to blend well with the florals. And this is a shade I got off of Amazon, oh gosh, about three or four years ago, to go specifically with my Colonial candles. And this is an 8-ounce Colonial, and this shade fits an 8-ounce. I don't know if this is available anymore, by the way. Um, and of course, if you've been noticing throughout this video, I have these sparkly hurricanes from Valerie, Valerie Parr Hill. Um, I bought these during the holidays. She did bring them back for the Easter season. You can get them in clear blue and I think the pink is sold out the glass is pink blue or clear and the metal fixings on the ones that are out now are, are silver but this one is clear glass with gold and I just absolutely love them I'm obsessed with them see this one just won't stay it's not balanced properly I need to work on that okay then over here I have in my purple fractals I have the baby jars from Yankee Candle in what is this called I forgot is it pink peony crap it's the wrong side I think it's pink peony yeah pink peony so I have one on each side and of course it's the baby jars have been doing fairly well you know, I don't expect to get a throw they're basically more for ambiance okay and this is one of the new Hurricanes from Valerie. This is the clear glass with the silver. Gorgeous! And then I have another one of the spotlights. This one is on the single spotlight, not the five. So, we're almost done. I'm just bringing you back to my Simply Vanilla. Um, the pedestals from Valerie, the lighted pedestals, come in a set of four. And I just realized I could have used one with this vase because it was kind of a dark spot right there. So right now it seems balanced, it's not moving, and it's a little bit better lit. So yeah, that's what I have going on there. Okay, and last but not least, we come to my coffee table. And as you can see, I have those gem faceted hurricanes from Valerie going on as well as the pedestals I got last year and lavender with the 
candle rings. And the Luminara are actually also from QVC. They're from Inspire Me. They look like a hammered. I had these out for Christmas, so I talked about them then. And I have in the votive holders, I have Yankee Candle Snowflake Cookie. Those are the purple fractals. And then in my hurricane, I have Pink Petal Tea Cake, which is doing phenomenal because I normally have a really hard time smelling anything in this room, but um, the Pink Petal Tea Cake has done really well. Um, I love two of the Sweet Shop candles that came back, the Raspberry Peach Macaron and the Lavender Marshmallow. All three, Pink Petal Tea Cake, Lavender Marshmallow, Raspberry Peach Macaron, throw in this room. And I also had my Henri Vendel Gardenia in the three wick. That threw like a champ. So I've been like really been able to, to smell whatever I have in this hurricane right there has been throwing phenomenal. So I've been really happy about that. And then basically everything else in this room is more of a background ambiance type candle because I don't really need a whole bunch of candles to get sent because I've had really, really good luck so far. So there you guys have it. That is what I am burning now in the month of February. I will be doing an empties video, but other than that, you won't be seeing any candle videos from me until sometime in April. I am hoping, fingers crossed, to do some vlogging while I'm in Egypt, um, but we'll see how that goes. I don't know if I'm going to you know, vlog and post as I go along or just do like one vlog of the whole trip when I come back. That's probably what I'll do. Um, but we'll see how it goes. You know, I just may be too busy having fun and not take my camera out at all. So anyway, there you guys have it. If you guys like this video, please comment, like, and subscribe below and have a blessed day.